Welcome to part two of the Vapor Chief 125 introduction video. Our machine is all ready to go. We're at 125 PSI. We want to show you what the machine comes with as well. And before we tell you the attachments that it comes with, we want to tell you about the warranty. We're confident enough in this machine that we give you a lifetime boiler guarantee, a lifetime heater guarantee, and we've never seen either of those two components fail as of yet. And we also give you a three-year internal parts warranty on the machine. We know this is heavy duty, we engineered this machine, there was a lot of work and a lot of research and development going into this machine, so we're very confident to give you a great warranty. We also give you um, a lot of attachments with this machine, regardless of the industry that you're in, you should have an attachment for whatever cleaning uh, purpose you need. We'll start with the extensions. Uh, both of these extensions are 18 inches. This allows you to use the machine if you're doing floors, standing up, if you're in the back of a large SUV, you can reach in without climbing inside. If you're doing hotel cleaning, restaurant cleaning, and you need to be up in the air a little bit more, these uh, long extension wands do a nice job. We give you a real heavy duty floor brush, and it has clips on the end, so if you need to put a towel around the brush, this is good for floor cleaning. Some guys in detailing use this in the back of an SUV or large carpeted areas. This is the go-to brush for a lot of people. This is the triangle brush. And our bristles, again, our nylon bristles are very heavy duty. You will not go through these brushes very quick and these bristles last a long time. And again, we have clips on either side of the brush if you need to wrap a towel around the brush. A shower head design, which disperses the steam very well. And it also comes with a microfiber bonnet that you can stretch around your triangle brush. A little tiny scraper, which comes in handy. This goes on uh, one of your nozzle wands like this, and believe it or not, this does a great job if you need to scrape things off a hard surface. Nice little tool to have. An assortment of brushes. Our horsehair brush is the best in the industry, and many steamers don't come with horsehair. Horsehair is a big advantage if you need to do something on the outside of the car and actually gently scrub the car. And of course, this works great on the inside surfaces, such as leather and vinyl. So your horsehair brushes, you're gonna get a couple of each size. Of the two and a half inch size, and the one inch size. And of course, we have the standard heavy duty nylon bristle brushes in the same size, which is good for carpeting and a lot of seat fabrics. And for people that are doing a lot of grout and tile cleaning, we have the brass bristle brushes, which do a great job on grout. Another thing that we really, really like about this machine is we've designed a three hole nozzle, which this disperses the steam. So anybody that's ever used a steamer before and has done a seat, they've done carpeting. If you have too much of a jet, especially at high pressure coming out on your seat, you can actually paint clean lines in a zigzag pattern. So what we've done with this nozzle is we've drilled three holes in the tip. That disperses the steam. You won't get that pattern. This is a great tool to have. We also have a longer jet nozzle. This is a single hole jet nozzle. This gets into really tight areas inside a wheel, inside a wheel well. This does really, really well. This comes with the injection machine. Window squeegee, uh, wall squeegee, whatever you want to use a squeegee for, we also have a squeegee that comes with the machine. And one of your main attachments is going to be a, a smaller angled nozzle that we seem to use almost exclusively. Connecting the nozzles to the gun, very, very simple. It's just a case of sliding it into the front of the gun, hearing it lock closed, and we're ready to go. To start your steam, this is our steam trigger here and this is our injection trigger here. So if we want steam only, we're gonna request steam through this trigger. If we want injection, we're automatically gonna inject steam and chemical by this button. So this is how our machine works, we're all ready to go. We can adjust our steam adjustment uh, volume as we need to, but this is what we're gonna get with our 125 machine. So we can use the steam as we need it. Now we, we like to use the steam first to blow out cracks and crevices. If you have a dirty car, the key to getting a car clean with steam is to blow out the dirt from the cracks and crevices. So we can use the steam We can use the steam at a higher pressure 
to blow the dirt out of the cracks and crevices, which will get the dirt on, onto more of a flat surface. Then as we use our injection, the injection is going to inject the optimal no rinse onto the flat surface of the car. We can take our microfiber towel, wipe it down, and that's our actual cleaning of the car. The difference between this and the diesel machine is the diesel machine is just blowing steam. Regardless of how powerful the diesel is or how much volume you get with the diesel, technically you still need a cleaner to get the car clean. So it's either uh, a bottle of your favorite chemical to spray on the car first, or you still need a bucket with your no rinse type of product in there in combination with the steam with the diesel machine. We make it easy where all we're going to do is click the trigger and you're going to hear the pump come on, which is our injection pump. That's going to start the flow of chemical and it's going to mix with the steam. That was chemical and steam. So we have chemical and steam coming out of the nozzle, and now it's just as simple as wiping the car down because we've already blown the dirt out of the cracks and crevices, and this will get our car clean. Now this car right now is not filthy dirty, but check out our other videos. We took this same car that was salt filled from a really bad winter here in New Jersey, and I drove the car around to purposely get salt all over it, and not wash it for a few weeks, and we have a bunch of videos of getting a salty car clean. So again, steam, injection. And that's almost a little bit too wet. But even though it's wet, you can see that we only have drips on the floor. We're not going to create a situation where there's too much water running off. We're just going to get drips on the bottom of our shop floor. So regardless of the way you choose to use the injection, and again, the injection is adjustable, you can have very little chemical coming through the hose. You can have maximum chemical coming through the hose, depending on how dirty the car is. So we think this is an excellent alternative to the diesel machine.